Aliens could be more common in binary star systems. That, according to scientists in a report at Study Finds. Remember Luke Skywalker from Star Wars lived in a binary star system? Researchers from Copenhagen, the university, not the chewing tobacco, <laughs> say nearly half of the stars, which are the same size as our home sun, come in pairs called binary systems. In these solar systems, the pair of stars are gravitationally bound together and orbit each other. Researchers say their combined energy extends the habitable region further out into space. That's what the area where our Earth is located is called. This increases the odds there would be habitable planets nearby. The stars heat each other's worlds, so meaning they have a greater chance of sustaining planets with liquid water a key component for life as we know it. The discovery is based on observations made by the Alma Telescope in Chile, pictured here, which examined a young binary star system about 1,000 light years from Earth. Not really that far in the grand scheme of things, really. The international team created computer simulations going backward and forward in time. Study second author Rajika L. Kuruwita said, quote, the observations allow us to zoom in on the stars and study how dust and gas move towards the disk. The simulations will tell us which physics are at play and how the stars have evolved up until the snapshot we observe and their future evolution, unquote. Scientists say the actions of the stars around each other trigger a significant heating and can influence the structure of the latter planetary system that forms. <laughs> See, the system is still too young to have planets. Always good advice to wait until you're ready. The ALMA array has 66 telescopes that operate together and the new James Webb Space Telescope, just launched last Christmas, will soon join the search for extraterrestrial life. I'm just going to say it now, folks. We are putting a lot of pressure on the James Webb Telescope team. All right, team, all we want you to do is figure out the nature of the universe and its expansion, find aliens, and get back to us in, oh, six months? <laughs> By the end of the decade, the ELT, that's the European Large Telescope, and the extremely powerful SKA, Square Kilometer Array, will complement Alma and James Webb. <laughs> oh, James Webb, you look very nice. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. You can check out this. You know what? There's can Eventually, we're going to find something out there. We cannot be the only living things in this universe. Come on. You can check out more info on this and other studies by clicking the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com.